Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial in which I am creating a custom background. Um, really you can apply this effect to anything, but for this I'm just making a wallpaper with it. So let's get started. First off, I'm starting off with a document in which is the size of my screen. So it's 1680 by 1050. Make sure that the background is black. After you've done that, make a new layer. And to this layer, we will get the brush tool. Make sure you have a brush that is set to soft. You can make the brush any size, but for this I'm making it large enough to fit the composition without going over any of the sides. Go ahead and create a third layer. To this layer we will go to filter and then render and then clouds. Set the layer mode on this to either overlay or soft light, whichever you prefer. And then go back to your brush layer and to that open up the layer style and add a gradient overlay. The gradient that I've selected is a green to teal, aqua teal. The color of the green that I'm using is A8FF00. The color of the teal blue color that I am using is 00FFDE. After you've selected whichever gradient that you want to use for this background, we're going to start making the little swirls that I have. To do this, create a fourth layer. Grab the pen tool. Make sure that the top is set to paths, freeform pen, and exclude overlapping path areas. After you've done that, go ahead and start making your little curves. You can do it however you wish. Some of them can be extending from the actual orb or you can make them all within it and for this one I'm just making them all inside of it. After you've completed that and you have it the way that you want, go back to your tools panel and grab the selection tool. Click on your composition and drag over all of the paths that you've made. Go back to your brush and turn down the pixels to roughly I'd say 2 to maybe 8 depending on the size of your composition. Right click on one of the actual lines, go to stroke path, and make sure that stroke path is set to brush and stimulate pressure is checked. After you've done that, click OK. And to get rid of all of the selections, just click delete. To this I'm going to add a blending option of an overlay of the exact same gradient that I've already used, just so that it blends in better. After I've done that, I don't like how bold it is, so I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set that to about 2.7. After that I'm going to turn down the opacity to about 30, and you're pretty much done. Um, to this I'm going to add a text and I will put a link to the text that I'm using in the sidebar. To this text, I'm just going to add a gradient of dark gray to black so that it looks like it has more of a shine. I'm also going to add an outer glow of light gray so that it's not too harsh and turn down the opacity of that to about 40. Now to this, if you want to take it another level and make it a little more web 2.0, 
you can get the elliptical tool and create a layer above your text and just do a selection over it that goes through about half of it after you've done that get your gradient tool make sure you have a gradient that is set to white to transparent start from the bottom of the selection and go up about one third control D to deselect control click on the thumbnail of the actual text go to select inverse and then get the erase tool and that will get rid of everything in between the actual font and that's about it you can really do as you please with this it's very customizable if you want you can blur the actual glare that you've created you can change the color of it you don't have to make it at all or you can add a pattern over it or anything that you wish I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any suggestions for future Photoshop tutorials, please leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.